Hi Capricorns, let's see if we can get your higher self, your guides, your spirit tribe to clue us in on what you need to know about the person you're inquiring about. What is really important for you to know about them right now? Like I said, we're going to ask your higher self, your guides, your guardians, the universe, the divine, we're opening up to your whole spirit tribe that guides and protects you to bring us that information. What do you need to know about them? At the end of the reading, I will open it up and invite your person's energy to come in and give you a brief message. Just note, if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other uh, sign positions. You may mean your rising or Venus may resonate a little bit better. I also do the wild card reading. Uh, you can check that one out and see if I picked your energy up there. This is for my Capricorns. What do they need to know about their person right now? What's really important to know about their person? It's for my Capricorns. My Capricorns. What do they need to know right now about their person? It's important for my Capricorns to know about their person. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all know them don't want to go in. We're going to take them. We're going to take them. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we have here? We've got nurturing. Nurturing. Ooh, that's a mother's love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also a card of protection. Um, you know, how a mother protects her child. Uh, and we've got somebody that is trying not to be distracted by outer influences, outside circumstances or influences, other people or, you know, situations, things like that that are occurring. Your person most definitely needs, uh, like, to be <laughs> nurtured a little bit, to feel a little more safe and secure, feel like things are going to be okay. So, it's an indication your higher self is saying this person, you know, is feeling like uh, there's too too much happening around them. They're feeling overwhelmed. And they're like, they just want to fall into your arms, it seems to be. They just need you to hold them for a minute. Yeah. Oh, my Capricorns. Okay. Let's pull the uh, Romance Angel Oracles. Let's get a little more clarity on what we've already pulled. We're going to clarify our... Uh, Trying not to allow outer circumstances to drive us insane. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. With the also with these two cards, it's also like your person, uh, your higher self, telling you your person really feels like you're their sanctuary. The, the, you're their safe haven away from the world. So yeah. Mm. Let's find out a little bit more. Oh, there it is. It's trying to fly. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Mm -hmm. So that they are having concerns. This is to do with relationship, partnership. What else? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Romance of a lifetime, and this top one's wanting to come out. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Mmm, feeling needy. And sometimes, you know, this card, when it comes out, it, it, you know, it feels like, eh, and one of the icky cards. But it's, it's actually not. Sometimes, you know, we all go through feeling a little needy and like I said your person has got some stuff going on one of their big concerns is how is the the stuff in their life the outer influences how is that affecting your relationship your partnership the fact that it says partnership the word partnership actually popped for me cuz that's like am I am I given in equalness back to my person or am I being too needy because they're, they're really worried and you are like not just romance of a lifetime love of a lifetime form so yeah the, your person uh, really does have concerns that they during this time they may be uh, pulling way too much on your energy and not able to give back 
to you a whole lot because they they seem to have a lot going on in their life you know the outer their personal world could be jobs you know all kinds of stuff but they're pulling on your energy and they do have a big concern that you might feel like they're just being too needy not pulling their end uh, you know of things and um so yeah that's a bit gonna be a big concern for them let's go ahead and clarify a little bit more we're going to use the heaven and earth tarot for my capricorn can we clarify a little bit more here mm. let's focus in on this uh partnership in the codependency feeling needy needing you to understand mm. like i said they're just wanting to fall into your arms with, with that uh, mother and nurture nurturing energy card. Okay. Get some clarification. We're going. I'm gonna focus in on that partnership, giving it a chance, and the codependency. Can we get clarity on that? Oh, we've got a. Four cups. Mm -hmm. Four cups. A lot of times that card has us where we're not able to see opportunities that are presenting themselves to us. Or either we're refusing the opportunities. Like, I'm just not ready. And it also brings in that, that gray cloud. That dark cloud over us. And sometimes can represent depression. Depression. So, yeah. What else? What else? Hmm... Victory card, six of wands. I'm not picking it up so much as a victory card. More as, for some reason, your person is feeling really uncomfortable. Like, all eyes are on them. They're being judged judged by others for some reason. Mm -hmm. A lot of attention. They're uncomfortable with attention. A lot of attention like that. And then we got a king of pentacles, a Taurus energy. Mmm... Hold on, let's clarify that Taurus energy for me. Clarify that Taurus energy. Mm. Yeah, that Taurus energy is being represented by them right now. Um, whether it's their sign or not, it's letting me know. Uh, uh, when it comes to manifesting on a tangible level, this could be resources, things like that. Your person is feeling like they're being judged <laughs> on things. Uh, it may have to do with job, career, stuff like that. You know, tangible things because we're getting going into the pentacle earth energy here. Uh, the thing I'm, that I like about my Capricorns is Taurus... Uh, even though they're representing, trying to represent themselves with that energy to tell us they they don't feel like they're a master of manifestation right now. Uh, that they're actually lacking, lacking, and possibly not. Like I said, they're coming across as they're worried. You feel like they're too needy and relying too much on you. That codependency. And, like, they're not able to give back as much as you're putting in. But I'm also picking up the insecurities about career, job, success. How successful are they? Because they seem to be holding themselves in looking at everything they don't have. Uh, that kind of thing. Instead of uh, being more optimistic about their future. You know, reaching out and grabbing that chalice and, and jumping up. Uh, you know, when we're challenged by something it's like grab your sword stand up be the warrior go after what it is you know don't cave in and sit down under the challenge uh, jump up and be the warrior a lot of us will you know you can overwhelm us we sit down in in the challenge and it takes us a minute to actually get up so yeah your person is going through a dark period right now uh, they're really worried. They feel like others are judging them. And they're also worried about your connection. Feeling like they're way too needy in this connection. And that you're having to give more than uh, what they're able to give right now. So, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. They might be feeling like I'm the baby in your arms. And that's not actually like romantic, is it? 
Let's find out anything else your higher self wants to bring forward about this. What would your higher self, your guides, want to tell you about this? Hmm. My Capricorn, their person. Mm. Mm, there it comes. You got a Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands. That's a page of wands. Mm. Hang on to that because just it being the page is telling you not not to take any action yet to get clarity. Yeah, the moon card. We're not seeing things a total in totality. Uh, we might actually be getting aggravated with this person and feeling like they truly are, you know, slacking, slacking, or just you know not able to come out of their own depression, and it might be wearing on our our own energies. But this one is telling us that we're with the moon card. Um, we're not seeing everything clearly, not to uh, take any kind of action yet. We're not seeing the full picture of something. What else? Emperor, just stay calm. Stay calm. That's the Aries energy. Take the lead. Be the one that stays calm. Uh, tying up loose ends. Something's getting ready to come full circle. Uh, a completion of something that may actually be your person waking up to. Okay, I've sit here long enough pouting about it and, and feeling, you know, bad about it. Let me get up now and grab my sword and, and you know, make a difference here. Oh, yes, we got the Cancer Chariot Energy Battle Wagon getting up. So, most definitely, uh, this is saying, uh, your higher self is saying, yeah, it's saying we do have some thoughts, some emotions that we want to be triggered on, that we're passionate about uh, when it comes to uh, your person. Your person may be actually, pick, you know, picking up the energy right, of your thinking is out of balance. I'm giving and giving and giving. I need somebody that can stand up and do their part and give back some. I don't just want to be a mommy. I want some true love romance. Uh, partnership. Partnership. The equal balance here. Where is it at? We might actually be feeling a little bit of that and thinking that. But your higher self is telling you, uh, don't take any actions on it. This is just a phase. It's getting ready to come to an end. And we're getting directions pulling in the same direction, coming back into the harmony. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be on more solid ground, feeling more confident. And where we're, the Aries energy, the emperor, that's like solidness. You know, the emperor plans out everything he wants to do, he goes after it, he builds it, and then he protects it. So yeah, we might have this person actually stepping in to becoming, getting up and going, no, I'm not going to be defeated when it comes to mastering manifestations. I'm going to become the king of doing that, being able to manifest finances, resources, build my empire. So your higher self is literally telling you, don't give up on this person yet. Don't make any rash decisions by being triggered on an emotional level to give it just a minute because your person is is feeling it on their self, in their own psyche, uh, uh, that they, you know, they're holding their self up. <laughs> I need to do more. I need to do more. Let's go ahead and pull uh, the tarot in translation. I'm pretty sure this is a journey in love or journey of the heart. It's Susan Dawn's creations. Mm -hmm. I love this. We're going to pull two weeks, one to two weeks out in front of you, my Capricorn. See what the energy is like in the connection in one to two weeks in front of you. It is a timeless reading, so whenever you find it, that's one to two weeks out in front of you. Let's see what the energy is going to be like between us then happening for my Capricorns in their person. Ooh, that one's wanting to slide. We'll take it. What else? Ooh, we got three here. We're going to take them. Let's see that first one. Knight of Wands. Passion is building in your connection. 
bringing in a renewed sense of excitement and adventure. Remain balanced within yourself, but don't be afraid to feed the flame of your desires. Oh, I like that one. Don't be afraid to feed the flames of your desires. Oh, adventure two. Okay, guys, y'all know I just knocked this camera around. Yeah, we did. Next one, the lovers. Oh, I like this. This relationship is being divinely supported. Trust your heart to lead you on the path to union as you deepen your connection and choose each other in sacred love. Choose each other in sacred love. Yeah, like I said, this is just basically bringing out your person's going through a down period right now in their in their life and circumstances, but their higher self, their higher self, and their guides is putting some pressure on them to quit caving in under challenges and feeling. Uh, lack impossibility to stand up and be that warrior that chases after what it is they want to really master yeah and it's telling us just be patient with them we're not seeing everything yet we're not seeing what's being worked on with them next one ten of swords there's been a painful ending within your connection but with Every ending comes a new beginning. Reflect on all that you've learned from your experience and carry the love with you into the next phase of your journey. Yeah, next phase of your journey. Ooh, putting it down, putting that burn down. I like that. Let's go ahead and get messages from your higher self and then we will open up the reading to your person's energy. This one's from your higher self, your guides. We're going to bite the universe, the divine, even your ancestors, just your tribe. Protective, guiding, spirit tribe. Over my Capricorns. What are we going to tell them? Mm. Let's see what we're going to get for my Capricorns. Mm, there's our first one. Find your passion. Find your passion. Stay focused on your passion because your person needs to find their passion. Believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm. When you think it's not possible, yeah, it becomes possible. Remember that fear and love cannot coexist. Ooh. Feed your joy. Feed your joy. Mm -hmm. When you're feeding your joy, it'll help your person because they are leaning on your energy also. Listen to your heart. Always. Let's see what this bottom energy is, guys. Love your story or create a new one. Oh, I love that one. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and open the reading up to your person's energy. See what they want to come forward and say. Which deck am I being drawn to for my Capricorns? Oh, I'm going to do the conversation with counterparts. But this is like the shadow end of the deck. So, yeah, I'm being drawn to some, some of the uh, shadow cards. Shadow messages. So, this is for my Capricorns person. Let's please allow them to come forward. Give my Capricorns a message. Anything they want to say. Anything they want to say. So, my Capricorns person. Mm -hmm. There's our first one, guys. Oh, can we start over? Can we start over? Oh, yeah. Right here is one. I'm awakening to what this love really means. Yeah. Mm, let me shuffle some more here. Mm. Every road leads back to you. I want to come in from the cold. 
Yeah, they're feeling like the outcast right now. Let's see the vinyl energy. I miss our friendship. I miss our friendship. Mm -hmm. Please forgive me. And I also want to take that one too, guys. I'm trying to figure out my path. My path. Let's pull also which one. Which one? I'm wanting to pull the small, the small ones uh, for us. This is for my Capricorn's person. Please allow them to speak through the deck. Step forward and speak through this one. Y'all know these things are so small. It's hard for me to actually. So, oh, for my Capricorn and their person. Well, then speak through the deck to us. Whatever they want to say through the deck to us. Mm, those are, oh, that one wanting to pop too. You fuel my creativity. Yeah, they they are pulling on your energy. You stay positive for yourself. Stay focused on your passion, the things that you're wanting, and it feeds your person energy to jump up, grab their sword, become that warrior. And master creator, I will be back. Yeah, your person may, like I said, I feel like it's a phase that four cups, they've fallen and like possibly disconnecting a little bit from us on that, um, um, I want to say on the heart level, the mental, emotional level, but they're still coming at us for comfort on a physical level. But on that mental, emotional level, they pull, they pull back. They're, you know, they're holding back a lot. But physically, they're looking for a lot of physical comfort from us. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. Shuffle some more here. I don't feel ready yet. Mm -hmm. What else? I am thinking of forever, forever. Might be scaring herself with that. Also, if there's, especially not about your connection, but their circumstances. Like, like I said, one of their big things is they're feeling down on herself. Like I'm, I'm not a master manifester. Let's go ahead and pull the rose deck. I'm going to the uh, light decks, the the ones that don't bring in the shadowy kind of the messages. So that feels good that your person's uh, got me itching to pull from the lighter side of the messages. So my Capricorn's person, anything they want to say to their person. Anything they want to say. Mm -hmm. I'm also hearing, please don't lose faith in me yet. Please don't give up on me. Hmm, thinking this one, but there's one under it I couldn't get my fingers on. Right there it is, right there. You could turn me on with just a touch. Yes, you could. Like I said, they're coming at us like the heart connection, the let's get into some serious conversation is stopped between us. And they're coming at us wanting a lot of physical comfort from us. This is going to hold, hold me. Whew. You are the love of my life. Mm -hmm. And you are all I've ever wanted. Yep. Let's see the bottom energy. You complete me. You complete me. Aww. I wish you could see how beautiful and amazing you truly are. Wow, I love that. Okay, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and like many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.